The KEP also designated LRP as a type of ammunition designed to penetrate vehicle armor which, like a bullet, does not contain explosives and uses kinetic energy to penetrate the target. Modern KEP munitions are typically of the armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot type. History Early cannons fired kinetic energy ammunition, initially consisting of round balls of worked stone and later of round balls of metal. From the beginning, combining high muzzle energy with projectile density and hardness have been the foremost factors in the design of such weapons. Similarly, the foremost purpose of such weapons has generally been to defeat armor or other defensive structures, whether stone castle walls, ship timbers, or modern tank armor. Kinetic energy ammunition, in its various forms, has consistently been the choice for those weapons due to the need for high muzzle energy. The development of the modern KE penetrator combines two aspects of artillery design, high muzzle velocity and concentrated force. High muzzle velocity is achieved by using a projectile with a low mass and large base area in the gun barrel. Firing a small size projectile wrapped in a lightweight outer shell, called a sabot raises the muzzle velocity. Once the shell clears the barrel, the sabot is no longer needed and falls off in pieces. This leaves the projectile traveling at high velocity with a smaller cross-sectional area and reduced aerodynamic drag during the flight to the target. Germany developed modern sabots under the name Treibspiegel to give extra altitude to its anti-aircraft guns during the Second World War. Before this, Primitive wooden sabots had been used for centuries in the form of a wooden plug attached to a breech loaded before cannonballs in the barrel, placed between the propellant charge and the projectile. The name sabot is the French word for clog. Concentration of force into a smaller area was initially attained by replacing the single metal shot with a composite shot using two metals, a heavy core inside a lighter metal outer shell. These designs were known either as armor piercing composite rigid, high-velocity armor-piercing and hard kern. On impact, the core had a much more concentrated effect than plain metal shot of the same weight and size. However, the air resistance and other effects were the same as for the shell of identical size. Between 1941 and 1943, the British combined the two techniques in the armor-piercing discarding sabot round. The sabot replaced the outer metal shell of the APCR. While in the gun the shot had a large base area to get maximum acceleration from the propelling charge but once outside, the sabot fell away to reveal a heavy shot with a small cross-sectional area. High-velocity armor-piercing rounds were also introduced by the United States Army, and were primarily used by tank destroyers. Design The principle of the kinetic energy penetrator is that it uses its kinetic energy, which is a function of its mass and velocity, to force its way through armor. If the armor is defeated, the heat and spalling generated by the penetrator going through the armor, and the pressure wave that would develop, ideally destroys the target. The modern kinetic energy weapon maximizes the stress delivered to the target by, maximizing the mass, that is, using the densest metals practical, which is one of the reasons depleted uranium or tungsten carbide is often used, and muzzle velocity of the projectile as kinetic energy scales with the mass m and the square of the velocity v of the projectile, minimizing the width, since if the projectile does not tumble, it will hit the target face first. As most modern projectiles have circular cross-sectional areas, their impact area will scale with the square of the radius r. This has led to the current designs which resemble a long metal arrow. The opposite technique to KE penetrators uses chemical energy penetrators. There are two types of these shells in use, high-explosive anti-tank and high-explosive squash head. They have been widely used against armor in the past and still have a role but are less effective against modern composite armor, such as Cobham as used on main battle tanks today. Main battle tanks usually use KE penetrators, while heat is mainly found in missile systems that are shoulder-launched or vehicle-mounted, and HESH is usually favored for fortification demolition. See also, DART, Compact Kinetic Energy Missile, Flechette, Impact Depth, Kinetic Bombardment, MGM-166 LOSAT. Notes References